Hi everybody! Today I have a very interesting mask to share with you. I saw this at Sephora and I thought it looked super interesting. It's from Dr. Jart. And it's called Shake and Shot Rubber Firming Mask. That's what the side looks like. So it looks like a little bottle or like tumbler. And it says, keep away from children, do not drink this. <laughs> Instant firming boost. Single use mask. And then it tells you the ingredients. So it was $12 at Sephora. And when you open it, it's a little plastic lid, which looks creepy. <laughs> and then you get the spatula. And there's some packets of stuff. And then an empty. This feels reusable. Like if you wanted to save this for something. The directions are... Open and remove the spatula from the lid, combining both step one, super boost, super booster, and step two, liquid, I can't read that word, A-M-P-O-U-L-E, in the cup. Close the lid, cover the hole with your finger, and shake well until fully mixed. Using the spatula, apply an even layer over entire face with within two to three minutes, avoiding the eyes and mouth. It must only take two to three minutes for it to start setting. Leave on 15 to 20 minutes. Starting from the edges and then to remove it, starting from the edges, gently peel off the mask. Remove any excess with a damp cloth or cotton pad. Follow with your skincare routine. And it says it must be a applied within two to three minutes after you mix it so you can't save whatever you mix packets here one of them feels not at it feels thicker and this one feels more watery so this is the super booster one so we put this in first And we only have three minutes to put this on after we mix it. So it's like a cream. And the second one is the firming liquid ampoule. <laughs> And you can kind of see it right here. It's like a clear liquid. This is what is in it so far. It's not as much as I thought would be in there. Yeah, it looks just like water. Lid back on. Make sure the nails is tight. And then put the put your finger over the lid or the hole and shake it. It's coming out from somewhere. And it's already solid. It already solidified. Hmm. It kind of smells like peroxide. It's a real chemical smell. That's what it looks like. So I need to put this on super fast. So it didn't take very long to shake it up. one or two shakes and it was already 
combined. And the, it's kind of like a pudding mixture. Doesn't say how much to put on. But since this is a one use product, I'm guessing you need to put all of it on. And the spatula is kind of awkward. It makes it easy to scrape out of the container, but it's kind of difficult. Yeah, it has like a medicine, uh, like hydrogen peroxide-ish smell. It's not burning or tingling or anything. There's a good amount left. I hate, <laughs> I hate wasting it, but maybe if you do this with a friend or something. And I need to wipe it off my eyebrow <laughs> before it dries. Okay, that's as good as I can get it. It's already starting to set. So there is a fair bit left in here, which kind of sucks. I don't think I would get this again, but if I did, I would probably use half or try to use half of each packet. So this is what it looks like. It's really messy. It's, it's a fun gimmicky thing. But I will be back in 20 minutes to see how it sets and everything. So I'll see you then. So it's been 20 minutes now, and it's weird. It feels like it's still wet, but it's not. It's like a rubber, like, it says it's a rubber mask. But it's cold and wet feeling. I think it's dry. So let's try. It's been 20 minutes, and it said 20 minutes, so. Weird. There's like no pulling at all. It's sliding off of my skin. Wow. <laughs> it's like rubber jello. That's crazy. It's like super cold and 
stretchy, kind of. <laughs> Yeah, I think you should do it thicker. The thicker parts come off better. That's really gentle. I was afraid it was going to pull out all my hair. On my eyebrows. It, it was completely set. It feels really moisturizing. My face feels like I put lotion on. I did get some in my hair and I wanted to show you. It just slides right out. It's not pulling my hairs out or anything, and it's like, that feels like an oil. It's weird. So it does make my skin feel really nice. It's still kind of cool feeling, and it feels really hydrated. So there, so Sephora has different types. There's, um... A brightening one hydro and probably hydrates your skin the one I got is a firming mask it's for fine lines and wrinkles and they also have a soothing mask the one I got like I said it's firming instant firming boost and it's Good for skin types, normal, oily, combination, dry, sensitive. And it's solutions for fine lines and wrinkles, loss of firmness and elasticity, dullness and uneven texture. So the pros are it did leave my skin super soft and really hydrated like I used an oil or a moisturizer. It was easy to peel off. Because um, some of the other masks that you spread on, when you peel them off, they kind of hurt and take off hairs. Um, I don't know if I would buy this again. If I had someone to, you know, share it with, I would. But there's a lot of product that's wasted. And it's $12.00. And you have to use it within two to three minutes, so it's difficult to get it all on within that time limit. So, if I was planning on using it with someone else, then I would buy it again. But other than that, it's just a fun little gimmicky thing, you know, to try out. And another thing is when you shake it, the liquid comes out of the side, so... That is kind of not good. Thanks for watching. I hope this was fun to watch and interesting. And I gave you an idea of what this is like. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.